A lot of new information came to light since the last time I did a video on the upcoming NVIDIA RTX 4060 graphics card. So in this video I will share the new leaks as well as my insight on this highly anticipated mid-range GPU. That includes specifications, gaming performance at 1080p, 1440p and 4K, as well as release date and price. Before that let me introduce this video's sponsor, keysfan.com. Here you can buy Windows 10, Windows 11 as well as other Microsoft software keys at a very affordable price. Additionally, use code VT50 to get a 50% discount on top of that, to bring the price down to just $7.58 for a Windows 10 Pro key. Conveniently and securely check out with PayPal and Keysfan will deliver the key to your email, ready to be activated. Get your Windows key today at the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Let's start with the RTX 4060 specs. Currently we still don't have any solid information about it. However, since we know a lot about RTX 4070 and 4080 specs, we can work out what to expect from RTX 4060. I see two possible RTX 4060 configurations. The first one could use a massively cut down version of a D104 GPU chip that will be found in an RTX 4070 and can be equipped with up to 12GB of memory. Speaking of RTX 4070, the latest leaks suggest that it will be equipped with just 10GB of memory, so a 10GB version of RTX 4060 is possible. However, I think that Nvidia will most likely go for the second, less attractive configuration using a D106 chip paired with 8GB of memory. Either way, RTX 4060 will still have a very large cache of up to 48MB if Nvidia decides to use a D104 chip or up to 32MB on a D106. For comparison, RTX 3090 has just 6MB of cache, so having a much larger cache will help increase the performance in games by quite a bit. More on that in just a minute. As for the power consumption, RTX 4060 is expected to draw up to 200 watts or more. That is quite a bit higher than previous generations. RTX 3060 is rated at 170 watts and RTX 2060 at 160 watts. This means that the recommended power supply rating for an RTX 4060 based PC could go up to 600 or even 650 watts, up from 550 watts for an RTX 3060. Now about the release date. According to the latest leaks, the high-end RTX 4000 series products will arrive fairly soon. RTX 4090 in September, RTX 4080 in October, and RTX 4070 in November, just in time for the holiday season. Unfortunately, RTX 4060 release date has not been leaked yet, which doesn't sound promising if you want to get a new mid-range graphics card this year. If we have a look at how Nvidia handled such launches in the past, I can estimate that RTX 4060 has a good chance to be revealed at CES 2023 in January, but that is pure speculation at the moment. As for the price, it is too early to talk about it, but if you ask me, I think the MSRP will be up to $399. That is just an upper limit, so there is no reason to get concerned about the price before we actually hear Jensen officially confirm it on stage or maybe from his kitchen. However, I do expect RTX 4060 to be priced higher than 3060 for sure. On to the gaming performance. Please treat the following RTX 4060 information as speculation, as we don't have any leaked benchmarks just yet. This is purely my expectation of what the RTX 4060 will perform like based on RTX 4090 performance targets that leaked earlier. As you may have noticed, I downgraded my earlier expectations. Now I believe that RTX 4060 will be on an RTX 3070 Ti level of performance, which is still an amazing generation over generation leap of 50 to 60 percent. That is huge. RTX 4060 may move past being the staple choice for 1080p gaming on ultra quality preset and become the new standard GPU for playing at 1440p resolution as more and more people are choosing to buy these monitors according to the Steam hardware survey. 
By the way, which monitor resolution do you game or plan to game at? Let's start with RTX 4060 1080p performance expectations first. Rainbow Six Siege on very high preset, 223 FPS average. Expect 125 FPS in Watch Dogs Legion on very high settings. It is a highly GPU demanding game, so now you see why RTX 4060 may be a bit too much for gaming at 1080p. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is an example of a good looking but older AAA game on this list. Highest quality preset 147 FPS average. The Outer Worlds is the perfect example of a less GPU demanding AAA game. I expect to see over 170 FPS on Ultra Preset at 1080p. Moving on to 1440p, you can see why I think that RTX 4060 will be the perfect reasonably priced option to play games at this resolution. I expect to see over 100 FPS on average. You should be able to enjoy Rainbow Six Siege on a semi-competitive level at 1440p with 152 FPS average on very high preset. You can always reduce a few quality settings to get an even higher FPS without losing too much of visual quality in this game. With close to 100 FPS average in Watch Dogs Legion on very high, RTX 4060 looks like a good 1440p option for any currently available game. However, I cannot promise anything about the future games as some of the upcoming 2022 and 2023 titles look a lot more graphically intense than anything we have available to play right now. But enabling DLSS to gain more FPS is always an option. Expect over 100 FPS average in Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest quality preset and 118 FPS average in the Outer Worlds on Ultra at 1440p. Looking at the expected average of 58 FPS at 4K, I would say that it would be possible to enjoy most games using an RTX 4060 even at this resolution. However, I would not count on being able to play the more demanding upcoming games in 2023 and beyond unless you are ok with lowering the graphics settings by quite a bit and or using lower quality DLSS preset that will give you more FPS. Rainbow Six Siege is the least demanding game on the list. It should look very good at close to 80 FPS average on very high preset. 57 FPS average in Watch Dogs Legion on very high is where RTX 4060 could fall short even in older AAA games. Lowering the settings or using DLSS could be a must for this type of games. Shadow of the Tomb Raider with over 60 FPS on the highest quality preset should be quite enjoyable though. And 66 FPS average in the Outer Worlds means that even the minimum FPS should stay close to 60, providing a smooth gaming experience. In conclusion. I think that RTX 4060 could become a good option for those of us looking to start playing games at 1440p, especially if you don't mind using DLSS or lowering some graphics quality settings in future games. But we still have to wait and see what the RTX 4000 series performance will actually be like. If you enjoyed having a look at what the future of graphics cards looks like, then subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.